you earn your living on the road. I remember you came to a show that I did in Vancouver one night. I did, yeah, yeah. And we were chatting about it afterwards and uh, I was kind of struggling with being on the road. Yeah. And you were just saying, that's our life. But you, you seem to have come to an acceptance of it, which I haven't. Oh, no, well, it is our life, yeah. I mean, I know it's not good for things, you know. I used to say to dollars, I used to say, it's just another hotel, you know. There's nothing... But it is what I chose to do, and it, it became a very good life for me, you know, and I was doing very good films, and... Um, it's a huge thing to do, and... That, that's what you're living when you're doing it. You're not living anything else. You couldn't, you couldn't dream of it. You're, you're, feed, you're eating for the evening, you know. Yes. Yeah. You're not... And, um, not great for the school run. No. Well, then I stopped working to do the school run for a while, you know, because... Oh. But it's not good for the school run. Yeah. But then there is a war between art and, if I'm allowed to call it, art and the bourgeois lifestyle, isn't there? There really is. And it drives the non-artists mad. Uh, how have you passed the time over the past year in terms of...? Um, well, I haven't been as um, uh, hard-working as I should have been. I thought I should be learning more Irish and I should be doing lots of things. And uh, I'm supposed to be writing some class of a memoir and uh, I just found I got a bit sluggish. But when the weather was really nice, we planted stuff in the garden, me and the guys, you know, and some native oak trees and things. And it was, it was a great pleasure, you know. Mm. It was a, you know. So I did that and um, we just, we spent a lot of time together and I very much appreciate that time, you know. Yeah. 